All right, so I am excited that all of y'all are here, and we are going to have an interact, interacting call. We're going to engage and share tips. So I am Arlena Gafford, an Avon Sales Gold Leader and Honor Society member, and so excited that our team, our Avon Dream Big team, is growing. So what I want to do is share um, a couple little things with y'all real quick and what we're going to do on the call so you will know. Let me share my screen. And can all of you see this? Yes. 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 Okay. So this is an all about you call. So we are going to take it off PowerPoint in just a minute and let you share tips and what's working in your business. And what I wanted to cover real quick and just go over just a little bit is our Dream Big Team Recognition Month and what we're doing with it. So let me share the calendar. So this is our calendar and we have already um, had a few drawings and um, there's still some you do you gets out there. There's even another drawing coming up. Um, so today is September 9th, right? <laughs> so um, you want to hold an Avon book party on Facebook. You can even hold one um, in person. So see who will hold Avon book parties for you. It definitely helps you double your sales with helpers and hostesses. And then we've got all kinds of goodies. So we actually have three win opportunities this week and one you do you get opportunity for the campaign base for campaign 20 and 21. And then we also have Show Your Appreciation Day on the 12th. So if you haven't heard yet, it is my birthday on the 12th. So I thought mm -hmm. what a cool present for me would be for you to share with someone that you love um, your appreciation for them. So definitely call, you know, that person and show that. And then yard sale, I know we've got yard sale um, still going on. And we also have our... Um, events going on so definitely you can work that to give new books out and get new customers and even get new people on your team um, and then don't forget everyone who has their order in for campaign 20 by the 14th which is this coming Friday and it bills out so it has to bill that morning so if you put it in Thursday night make sure all your payments and everything is in I will not do the drawing until probably after we check out at the beach because, you know, we got to get out um, that way. But I want to um, do the video as well on the beach. So um, we'll check out and then I'll go to the beach probably around 12 and do the video and draw. So someone will win a $100 product bundle. So just make sure you download this. If y'all have questions, definitely unmute yourself and let me know. Ask away. <laughs> so I can if you don't understand something then unmute yourself and ask that too so any questions and just so all of you know like Juanita Becky Peggy y'all are not in leadership so on the 13th it says um, you do you get when you move up in leadership so you move up and you have your one person and become a promoter that's you're moving up in titles, so you automatically earn a prize. Or if you move up two titles, you know, you go from promoter to star promoter, then that's two prizes. Um, so definitely, you know, so you'll know that, um, you'll earn that. Tracy, let your team know that, um, so they can move up and they can earn prizes. Um, so that is something that y'all would want to know. So we're going to go back here. Let's switch back. Um, so tonight is all about the tips. So let me um, stop share. <laughs> and then what I would love for all of us to do is to, y'all can go, um, 
I can call on you if you want me to, or if you know you want to, you already have a tip that you want to share with um, everyone else, then you can definitely unmute your line or raise your hand or, you know, however you want to do this. So what um, the goal is tonight is for you to share what's working in your business. How are you growing your business? How are you in sales, online sales, recruiting, whatever it is that you want to share, that's what we want to hear from you. So who wants to get started? Arlena, I'll start. This is Peggy. Okay. Yes, introduce yourself. Even say how long you've been selling Avon too. All right, Peggy Lindsay. What I do probably about every two months, I um, an extra case of books put my business cards on them and I set the boxes out at the grocery stores, um, at the stores, uh, anywhere that really busy and let everybody just pick up a book with no pressure. Ah, so is it like, um, a place where you can put books already like a book stand, newspaper stand? Yes. Okay. And so people just, like when they can go buy and pick up a newspaper, they can pick up an Avon book. Right. And how many customers do you think you have gotten from that so far? I've, um, I've gotten several online orders ah. um, that I didn't have before. And I reach out to them once they order, I'll email them, introduce myself and give them all my information. That's a good idea. Okay, so on your books, you just put a business card on there um, just with your online information? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So um, I'm going to ask a favor. <laughs> um, the next time you do this, or if you can put one together um, tonight or tomorrow, um, take a picture of it and put it on our page so they can see what you're doing. So good. So, um, who else wants to share? <laughs> Come on, ladies. Juanita, you want to share? I know you've learned some things this week. <laughs> can you hear me? I can. Okay. Um, I guess the biggest thing I learned this week was just to, like I said on the tape, put out your uh, catalogs and get information. And today I went out and I, I saw a young lady yesterday at McDonald's. And I, we've been friends because I go there every day and buy sweet tea or coffee. So I asked her, would she do a book party for me? Oh. I mean, just she said, yes, I'll oh. do it. I said, well, I'll be back tomorrow with the information. <laughs> so yeah. just, just talking to people. Now, these are, this is a young lady that I see just about every day. <laughs> so I decided to ask, and I carried my book with me. So I, before I hand her the book, I said, put your information on this pad. And she did. And that's when I asked her if she would do the party. And she said that she would. So I have one party lined up just from, you know, befriending a person and mm -hmm. passing out a book. A catalog, yeah. So, so that's good. So you, it's just a place that you go to regularly. You don't know yeah. her, like, so you know, you know your friends, but right. you know of her. So yeah, I just knew her from talking to her every day, and I have a reputation at uh, at this particular McDonald's because I'm not a real coffee drinker. But I went there one day, <laughs> and they gave me a cup of coffee that tastes like no, it tastes burned. And I took it back. So mm -hmm. my sister went inside and told them what I did. And from then on, it's just like they know who I am when they hear my voice. So it was easy for me to talk to her because I see her quite frequently. Mm -hmm. But I had never asked her about the business because it's just this week that I started to really work the business, even though I've been in a year. So that's where I am now. So good. So um, I know 
everyone is kind of hopping on, getting off, and it's probably internet and it was storming here. So Peggy shared that she leaves her brochures. Um, Peggy said, what, every couple months she'll buy an ex extra case of books and she'll put them out at the grocery store and she's getting online sales. And Juanita has reached out to someone that she sees regularly who is, um, you know, her regular cashier at McDonald's and offered her a chance to, did you offer her a chance to like earn products for the holidays or how did you get the book party? I just asked her, I said, okay. will you do a book party for me? She said, sure. I mean, she didn't even hesitate. She said, sure. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> it so stunned she, me. I said, okay. <laughs> But she was looking. So sometimes it's simply doing what you just did, whether it's having that book there. So when they're grocery shopping and they can pick it up, because honestly, my mom had brought home the book. So um, my mom could have brought home the book from the grocery store from Peggy to even if you had came through my line and I was working because I was at Arby's, not sure if everybody knows that, <laughs> but that was <laughs> job that I had um, and actually moved up in. Um, so you could have even been the person who came through Arby's all the time and had asked me. So yeah. when we're thinking about that, and even for this person, you can even think about introducing the opportunity of her joining at some point, like when she gathers up her orders and you can kind of bridge into that. You don't want to, you know, of course, bombard her with everything right now, okay. but just bridge into it um, as you can. Um, okay. and then, um, so, so yay. So two great tips. So I'm excited for y'all. Um, Thanks. okay. So who else wants to share? I'm here, Arlena. Okay. So Lisa, you want to share a tip with everyone that's working? Yes. I think, um, the most important thing, of course, we've got to get our books out there, but you're going to have to keep those books in your car. And I like to keep, um, the books in there with the samples so I can and I tie mine together so it's easier to hand to them they have a book with the samples and business card and then I try to put a recruiting flyer in there too but I leave the books out wherever I go I've okay. got customers from Springville and Odenville from when I was staying with Kay Kaylee and when I was up there with you then mm -hmm. I leave them in the gas station but it's important to get the contact information and not be afraid to approach people in parking lots and stuff because so many people have not seen brochures and they don't, they're glad to see them. Right. And I've got to follow back up with some of the people that were the places we went last week. I've got to go back this week because there was products that some of them mentioned. So I bought the products to go back in my basket and I always keep a basket on with on hand products too. The library ladies love them. <laughs> Only one of them have has ever placed an order, but when I walk in there with on hand products, every time yep. I walk out of the library with about thirty five forty dollars, because Same. they get busy, they forget to place the order, mm -hmm. but yet they won't save on products, and I charge them <laughs> basically the same thing, the same price, but now they want it when they can look at it, and right. they can buy the blood, they can see the lipstick colors and the eyeshadows, so. It's a good thing to get the daily deals and to shop from outlet where we can get the stuff cheaper and then sell that, keep a basket on hand. Well, and one thing that I noticed because I was um, filling in my order cart for the team today because we are having more $500 orders, um, I noticed the a lot of the makeup um, products like the quads, lip gloss, lipsticks, they are on sale at 40% or 50%, depending on if you're in Presence Club or non Presence Club. Um, I'm going to be by Christmas. Uh huh. By Christmas, so, I'm going to be. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so, in that book, what I noticed today, there's a lot of deals um, on the makeup. So, definitely, those are great to buy, like what you're doing, and even making up um, Christmas baskets before long. Um, and since your ladies love um, buying things on hand, 
um, what you were doing last year, making up some of those baskets, I bet some of them will go quicker this year because now you've got established customer base. So as you're growing and the more you grow, the more that you'll see people will buy um, what you have on hand. So yay. So I love it, Lisa. So who else wants to share a tip? So Arlene, this is Peggy again. Yes. Um, I ordered the Harvest Treasure Body Care Lotion. Mm -hmm. I ordered one of the full size um, lotions and I took it to work. And everybody that ordered from me the last time mm -hmm. got to put some body lotion on. And everybody that requested a book got to put body <laughs> lotion on. And I just spread that thing all over the place. And I've already submitted a $100 order of body lotions. Um, from wow. campaign 20. <laughs> so her tip is you hand them the book and you squirt them. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> what? No. But that's really good because having how we don't have samples of the lotions like that, yeah. that's literally what I will do too. So just having that around and having it where they can't smell it because that whole line, um, I mean, you would have to see it sometimes to know if you want it or not. <laughs> so, so I love it. So you already have, um, you said a hundred dollars in body lotions. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I love that. Oh my goodness. That's, that's so funny. So. <laughs> and I went ahead and submitted it too. <laughs> well, and I would, because I don't know, I'm sure they stopped up, but I'm sure there's going to be other reps who are doing the same thing you are. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of those, I know Lisa has her favorite. Um, so she does something similar like that. I don't know if she's, you know, made everybody. <laughs> that's just <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, well, Lisa did comment, um, and Sabrina says she made it. So, Sabrina, will you share a tip with us? And Lisa says she loves the caramel apple. So, which one do you have, Peggy? I have the salted caramel apple, but okay. they have um, the scent is in the book for the berry, and mm -hmm. it is out of this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love it. All right, so Becky, Tammy, and Sabrina, we want to hear a tip from y'all. So who wants to share? Well, well, I'm not real good at sharing, but um, one thing that I have done and got several customers from is my beauty shop, my hairdresser that I have been going to for years. Um, you know, I gave her some books and she let me put some books out and then the other hairdresser got some of her family members to order and it's just, you know, it's been a good, a good <laughs> place to leave books and to get orders. And then, um, another friend works at a medical office and I've taken her books and got some orders that way and she'll get orders from, for me, you know, and let me know, Hey, I've got some orders if you want to run by and pick them up, you know, wow. so it's good to, you know, people you know that are in a business, they'll sometimes help you, you know, by getting orders for you and giving out books and things like that. And then I'd usually, you know, I'll give her something extra every now and then, you know, for doing that for me. So. Well, that's a good idea. So, um, so having businesses that will let you leave books at is definitely another positive because you're getting more people and something that I learned um, when I went when I was in Bob Pollock's um, program a couple years ago um, they shared with us that every person knows 250 people so even like my mom of course I know we know a lot of the same people but we also know a lot of different people so you always want to think about that even if you know you work with someone or um, you know, their family, <laughs> you really know more people than they know and vice versa. So good. So Tammy, do you want to share your tip? I don't know if she's muted or not. Can I talk again? You can share another tip. I think I'm getting my books ready. That's why I'm asking. I think it's important that you offer the A box because a lot of people don't even flip over to the back of the book. 
they know what they're looking for and they look for a certain section. They may mm -hmm. be used to buying cologne or, or fragrances and they may go straight to the fragrance section and I got an extra $10. A lady had a $55 order. And it's important to know the customers because I knew she was shopping for Christmas. She doesn't wear makeup. She doesn't mm -hmm. wear jewelry, but she's shopping for Christmas. So she had a $55 <laughs> order. I sent her the picture of the A box. I said, would you like to add this? You qualify. I said, you qualify Ooh. because of your order. Mm -hmm. said, yes. It's only $10. And I said, yes, it's only $10. She's like, oh, yes, I want that. My mom would love that for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's a 30, I didn't even tell her it was a $33 value. I just mm -hmm. said, you qualify for it. And it was like, it's like we're giving it to them free. <laughs> and, uh, it was $10. But I mean, she was excited because wow. I offered it to her. So that's a new way of saying it. So when they do place a big order where they do qualify for it for 10, we can say you qualify. Um, so love that. Um, something else you said I was supposed to say. Oh, gosh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No, because I was going off what you said, um, and it just completely, um, oh, gosh. You know, that's how it happens sometimes. <laughs> But anyway, but I love the idea. So definitely um, letting them know that they qualify. Um, the A box, oh, I know where I was going. So we heard from Avon a year ago when they started doing the A boxes. And Lisa, you might remember this too. Um, they shared with us, I know I either it was at Rep Fest or it was at um, a conference call or something with Avon, but the A box or whatever is on the back cover of the book is like you going through the drive-through and them asking you if you like to make it large or upsize or, you know, whatever they say with your combo. So that's what um, is on the back of the book. So it's, so it's on there. It's a deal for them. So not sure if you have ever looked at the back before we had all the eight boxes that we always had deals like two for five or two for 10 or whatever it was. Um, I know earrings a lot of times will be on the back of the book or the mini hand creams, holiday stuff. So what Avon has shared with us was it's like you upsizing their order. Um, and so it's always good to just offer it to them. And if they don't want it, then they don't want it. But, um, but anyway, so that was something that I had heard before. <laughs> so, um, so I, I'm, so Lisa, you will see your average order going up by you reaching out to more people, getting them, even if, you know, some of them say no, you just focusing on that is going to help you increase your average order size. So good job. <laughs> so far it's 300 and I'm finishing on Thursday night, I'm on place it early Friday morning, but it's I placed part of it, but the total right now is 300. Good, so you're definitely increasing. That is the goal. So, all right. So, Tammy and Sabrina, y'all want to talk? Not in the chat box because people on YouTube can't read the chat box. <laughs> so I know y'all have some tips. So come you want on. Want me to read Tammy's? Well, I was hoping Tammy would. Speak. I um, don't know now. Yes, you do. Just pretend it's just us. <laughs> so just share what you're doing. So you can even read what you wrote. <laughs> you were unmuted. You want me to unmute you? <laughs> Sabrina, I know you're out there. I'll Facebook message you or unmute you too. <laughs> so, Y'all come on. Okay, so Lisa, if you, well, no, Tammy. There, I, I couldn't figure out how to talk on this stupid thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> stop laughing at me. <laughs> Okay, so I started, um, you know, originally I wasn't ordering a whole lot of books because I didn't know how many I would need, how many I would use in, you know, a two-week period of time. So I started offering my customers 5% off their order if they would share their book with another person. 
And then if that other person places an order from the shared book, then I give my first customer 10% off of her order. And it's worked out really well. And I've actually gotten, you know, three or four more customers, you know, from that, from them sharing their books. So good. So, so one of those, um, you know how we share when, you know, like today, Tracy, I don't know if y'all seen, but was sharing some funny videos, <laughs> and I shared that on Facebook. So you're just simply asking them to share their book with someone else. So that is, that's going to help you grow too, and that's going to help you find helpers or even new people to recruit on your team. So you can offer them the chance of signing up on your team to earn money for the holidays or... Um, if you um, see, you know, they might say, well, I don't want to sign up. I have a couple helpers that are like that. And so they give me the orders and then they just, you know, get a free product or a discount or whatever. So good. So, um, and campaign 20 will be what, your third or fourth order, Tammy? Campaign 20 is my fourth order. So okay. I should have, I should have gotten my third level gotten to my third level prize with campaign 19 yeah. I need to look at that so yes so I know I checked everybody and um, when we had the hiccup for all the newbies um, on Wednesday but I need to go back and check it today so good so and when you get that please go share pictures because like uh, you can ask Lisa, you can ask Peggy, Juanita and Sabrina we, and Becky too. We did not have a free $400 kit for just placing $500 in our first three campaigns. Because I want to think, I know most of us would have actually done it. So uh, we didn't have that opportunity. So, um, but I'm excited that y'all do. So definitely share pictures, even share um, you can do a Facebook live and share with all of your family and friends. Um, you can, um, and then share the video in our group. Um, I know Rebecca did that um, this week. Um, I asked her to share um, her unboxing is what she called it. So after you get all your orders out of that shipment, then you can put it all back in a box, <laughs> one of the boxes, and then do your unboxing of your freebies from Avon. So, and that's going to get people looking at it. And you can even say in your video, um, comment if you want to know how you can earn the same thing. So even though Avon has different incentives now, but I still, even though my, <laughs> my bundles are not that big, um, but they can still earn um, prizes as well for being on the team. So, um, so anyway, so I'm excited for you. So I don't know why my phone's going off. <laughs> um, okay, so Sabrina, I asked Sabrina to share. So let's see if she could unmute. And it's my Facebook um, Avon Bestie. So remember when I said get you some besties in Avon? <laughs> That's who's blowing up my phone. Um, so Sabrina, unmute your line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I don't think Sabrina is going to mute herself. I'm going to have to get her. Y'all want her phone number so y'all can call her? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I seen that she had a message on there said she couldn't speak because she was feeding the baby. Oh, okay. So I didn't see that part. Okay. Well, the baby's okay. Um, okay, so what other ideas do y'all want to share? Or what questions that maybe y'all want to learn? I can answer that as well. <laughs> Sabrina gave y'all her phone number. I will not read it because we are recording. <laughs> We're just playing Sabrina. <laughs> so, um, so I will read Sabrina's um, tip. She says she plays games on Facebook to get customers and to give out books at businesses such as pharmacies and post offices. Um, and so I know she definitely has those pharmacies and post offices that she can leave books at. What Peggy is doing at the grocery store is what she's doing at those other two places. So definitely having like gas stations will let you leave books on their counter and they will go quick. Um, but you want to, 
even pick something maybe on your book that says call me to see what you want and it can be you know a free sample bundle it can be a free gift when they place an order so you get them to order <laughs> um, it can be 10 percent off and the 10 percent off can be um, the code to shop at your online store so it's not dipping into your profits it is coming out of Avon's. Um, so that's one way when you're leaving books out that you can get some people on there too. Um, so what other tips do y'all want to know? Or what do y'all have to share? <laughs> Arlena? Uh-huh. Ask uh, Lisa to send, she was going to inbox me that uh, information about Avon changing their uh, about paying up front. That's what it was about. Okay. I forgot. I'll do it. I'll do it tonight, Juanita. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, when I when I left y'all that day, Arlena knows the story. I'll make it quick. But when I left y'all that day, I did take my dad back to the doctor. He does have dementia. They told him straight up he cannot drive. I've had to take my mom's truck, and I've had a bunch of problems with my dad for the last few days, so I was not thinking, but I will write it down, and I will do it right after this. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it's it. Hard, so we I'm appreciate sorry about your, your dad. It, we Can you send it to me too, Lisa, please? Yes, ma'am, I sure will. And, and if I'm sorry for interrupting. Tomorrow, Becky, I'm going to send you that message too. And Lisa, you can okay. put it in the um, team group if you want to so okay. they can see it um i know trace okay. posted one picture before but you can put some of that in there so i mean literally i know y'all see me post a lot but it does not have to be me posting <laughs> y'all can go in there and start sharing different things or like if you did something and you see that it works so juanita um, did this for me this week she was so excited so i want you to share something in a second that you just shared I think yesterday um, or Friday on the team page, but um, with her working, she's, you know, excited about um, something that happened. So Juanita, share what happened. Wait a minute. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> something about three. You got three. Oh, yes. I, um, I went to to the beauty shop and I you know my mind it kind of it would have come to me eventually <laughs> but um I went I was talking to some people at the beauty shop and I was able to get three different customers from just talking to them and passing out my my catalogs and I got three new customers that I had not had before so that catalog thing is beginning to work and, and I'm I'm actually acting like a very new rep and I guess I am because this is the first time I've actually really worked the business I was just ordering for myself and a few friends but now I'm kind of fired up <laughs> so yeah. that's what I did and it worked you know just to to get a new customer to me was really good three new customers was great <laughs> <laughs> and you, you wait till I get um, more new customers and you had new orders right Yes, I have new orders from those from those three people. Yes. So that's the other powerful thing. So it's like, oh my gosh, you gotta share in the group. So um, <laughs> just from simply giving out books and talking with them. And do y'all see the like um kind of oh gosh, now my mind's going blank. <laughs> but the same, um, task that all of y'all are doing, you're doing it a little bit different but all of y'all are getting your books out in front of people and you're reaching out to people and you're either giving them your information where they can order online or you have that moment to speak with them and you're getting that order or like lisa she takes a products <laughs> a basket full of products in and let everyone test and see and buy and peggy's like you get a book and you got to get this lotion <laughs> so <laughs> you got to try this lotion on like, it's just That's no ifs, ands, or buts. You got to like put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, like, literally, it's the best thing. So, um, I do encourage all of y'all to share all of your tips in the group. So, everyone who's not on, and it will be uploaded um, in a little bit, 
but um, that way they can see what you're doing. So I'm excited. So what other tips do y'all want to share? We have just a few minutes left. Arlena, that um, calendar that you have, can you send it to me so I can print it out? I can. Okay. Now, how will I find, is it on our, how will I find the calendar? It's on our team page in the file section. At the nursing home where I work, and I got two orders from family members who came to the nursing home to visit their family members. So definitely, if you're like near a nursing home or, you know, you, you whatever, mm -hmm. you have a friend or a family member, leave a book there. Um, and nursing homes are great. Tracy can share this. Um, nursing homes are great to go in and see if you can set up like once a month because a lot of those ladies and gentlemen can't get out. And so they sometimes have the money to spend. They just don't have anywhere to go to spend it. Um, and they need deodorant, and they might even want to buy some Christmas presents. So um, that and senior centers love Avon as well. So find the senior center in your town or the town next door um, and see if you can come in like once a month or once a campaign and leave new books for them, but also maybe come in once a month and like what Peggy and Lisa is doing, having some of those products on hand so they can buy right then. We went, one of my customers, um, so this is going to be my tip to y'all. <laughs> um, one of my customers shared, um, if y'all remember, um, TJ was selling the grab bags to earn spending money for the Imagine Dragons concert. So I went and delivered to one of my customers and we shared the grab bags with her and what he was doing. And she had just left the senior center and she's like, you know, you should go by there and see if you can see if, you know, they'll buy and let you do that. And so the lady was like, well, today is firefighter day, but can you come back tomorrow? And so we did. And then she said, well, can you come back like next Monday or Tuesday, no, Monday or Wednesday, because there's going to be a different group of ladies here. And I told her, I shared with her that, you know, we could on Monday. And so we went back and he sold like 25 more dollars. It might have been more. Um, it might have been more because we had some of those um, bags that I was selling for five. So anyway, he just sold even more there. Um, so senior centers are great like nursing homes are. So um, love that. So I do have a question for everyone. Um, who is going to, like, what's your end of year goal? Is it Presence Club? Is it just being consistent and getting your business off to a good start? Is it leadership? What? So just whoever wants to share first their goal, or if you need to think about it for a second. <laughs> um, and Lisa, I'll ask you to go first, because you already have, um, I know what you want to end this year with. So, Lisa? President. I need to sell $4,700. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad you know. That's what I need to sell $4,700. <laughs> and nobody can come to Pell City and get my senior center because I love my ladies. And I was going to ask the ladies if I can set up a table like you're talking about. I'm going there Tuesday and I'm going to ask mm -hmm. her, especially close to the holidays. Because um, the workers buy from me too, and the uh, and like you were saying, they asked you to come back. I have ladies that go there only on Fridays or only on Mondays, and they may only go one or two days a week because they have different activities. So, you know, you will get different people there on different days. You will you will find different mm -hmm. people there. And I will, unless their rules have changed, Lisa, they will let you come in. Um, because I was there and I went in a couple of different times setting up. Um, so I know they'll let you come in, um, even suggest and see, because what my town, um, the lady actually bought two or no, she bought four grab bags, um, and she split them up because they play bingo and give out prizes. So you can even suggest, you know, some inexpensive gifts that you have, um, the little products that they can give away for gifts too. So not sure if they've thought about that, but that's what this lady did. And I was like, sure. <laughs> so she needed me to just sign something saying that, you know, she bought Avon from me. And I was like, okay, how much do you want? <laughs> so, um, so that's another idea. So, all right. So Lisa, what do you have in the grab bag? Lisa, what um, do you have in the grab bag? 
So the grab bags were like um, the men products, the hair and body wash and aftershave. Um, so that would be one grab bag. It was a matching set. Um, I bought some of the A boxes and then split them up. So I don't even have a book because I moved everything back to my desk and it's not bright over there. But um, so I can, one of the A boxes, we've got the quad two eyeliners. What is it? A mascara? And I want to think there's something else. So like that box, I would split up into three grab bags. And I would, we were selling the grab bags for $5 each. No tax, just $5 straight. So with me splitting that a box into three, I'm actually selling it for $15. Um, I had a couple bug guards left, so we just put a bug guard in each um, bag. I had some of the bug guard wipes left. So I put a bug guard wipe with one of the KISS products because I got the bundles at a bigger discount than what anybody could get them um, when we went to the PC luncheon. So we only had a few of those left, so I put them in like $5 grab bags. Um, we sold out all of the slime, you know, of course kids love slime. Um, what else? If Christy was still on here, she could definitely share. She bought a lot of the grab bags too. <laughs> for <laughs> a lot of her coworkers. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'll see if I have pictures because I want to think I took some pictures, but I'm not sure. It's kind of what Lisa was saying, buying from the outlet book or deal of the day. So anytime that you're wanting to do specials like that, and depending on what you want to spend and what your customers can spend. So like the senior center, I mean, one lady spent like $25. And then another lady was like, I can only buy one thing. So, you know, different people have their spending. So you don't want to like prejudge. But you also want to think about reasonable gifts and the prices too. So anything that's like ten dollars to twenty dollars and set, mm -hmm. sell easy over you know the Christmas um, season. But now you can make up hundred dollar gift sets because you can let them know, especially the guys. Let them know you know what the ladies like at your book, so you can even let them know what um, to purchase. And then you'll make up that basket or gift bag or, you know, however y'all want to do it. Um, so little things like that, lip glosses and um, nail polish goes like crazy for me when I work events. Um, so, yeah. So sometimes it's just the hand creams are a good one and shower gels. One of my customers just bought like six shower gels. Um, and she said, no, Christmas is coming up. And so that's what she's been doing is stocking up on shower gel. So, so you know, mm -hmm. everybody has their little thing. Okay. So, okay, well, Juanita. Can I ask a question Thanks. while we have these ladies? Yeah, ask. Um, Becky had told me about a vent. It's going to be in Vincent on October the 6th. But Becky cannot do it with me. And I need someone that can do it with me because, you know, I basically have one arm and I just with the table set up and trying to do the brochures and everything and the products I really need someone and it's only $25 but the people it's called winter something I've got it wrote down but it's um I think it's called winter warm-up okay that's it winter warm-ups it's in like a revival center in Vincent but the people <laughs> have to pay the tickets are like 10 15 and 20 to come there but they're offering a vendor spot for 25 and they don't have an avon rep yet and i really want to get it but i need to know that i can count on somebody to be there i think it's nine to three but we would have to set up earlier on saturday october the 6th if i can get someone to commit i'll go ahead and pay that 25 dollars tomorrow but i need someone to commit with me well and you can post in our group and ask um and see Okay, so yeah, was Sabrina, it? I think she said she was going to be out of town, and Becky's got a family -ish thing too. So both of them okay. wanted to, but they both had something. Juanita, would you do a Saturday? <laughs> no, I won't be able to on Saturday. <laughs> and you can't do the six, Darlena? I'll have to look and see. And if I can, I will. I'll go with you and help you. Where's so. Tammy and Peggy from? Tammy and Peggy both live like Peggy's Altoona area. And Tammy, are you Albertville, Boaz? I am, 
I am Albertville. However, I know exactly where that revival center is in Vincent. And if you need some help, I'd be glad to come. Ooh. I'd be glad to have you. There you go. So both of y'all do that. Yay. So excited. So for, the person, for the person that lives in Altoona, are you able to uh, place your books, and, I mean, your catalogs and stuff in Altoona? Yes. I, I actually live in Sneed. Oh. Okay. Okay. I know where Sneed is. Okay. Yeah. In fact, okay. I've got a I've got a um, picnic on the 29th of September that I'm setting up for. Ooh. I'm so excited y'all are oh. sharing tonight. <laughs> Tell her, I mean, explain the picnic. What are you gonna do at the picnic? It's the um it's the Sneed Harvest Festival. Oh, okay. And so you, you have a table there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I bought a booth. Okay. Those harvest festivals and little community kind of things are a great place to get. I just got some orders at our one here in a, like a farmer's market in Albertville. So I think I'm going to set up at the Boaz Harvest Festival. Okay. Well, I went to our water department, which is our Sneed Town Hall. And I went to pay for my booth and delivered about five books. <laughs> <laughs> what a problem to have, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard from one um, representative say before, um, if they're going to get your money, you need to get their money. So try to always, every place that, you know, whether it's a bill or you go to Juanita, go to the McDonald's. Um, you're always trying to get a customer there, so it's beneficial for you too. <laughs> um, when I make my deposits, when I make my Avon deposits, mm -hmm. I, I take the books in there with it. Okay. Do, you, do all of you all have separate separate banking accounts for your I Avon? Do. Okay. I do. So yes. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, Sabrina shares that her goal is to make Presence Club, and in leadership, she wants to be a gold ambassador. She's at 20 people right now. and a, Okay, so 20 representatives are selling on her team with a total of 25, but she's wanting to grow more reps. So, yay. So, good. You know I want you at Presence Club and gold ambassador. So Juanita, share um, where you would like to be. Um, what's like a goal that you want to accomplish with Avon before this year is over? Well, I would like to have helpers on my team. I'd like to have some, um, I didn't think I wanted to do um, leadership, but I think I do. So by the end of the year, I'd like to have a few I'm going to go out on the limb and say I'd like to have at least five recruits. That's so good. I'm working toward that end. And um, so now I'm just getting the catalogs out and asking questions. And so my goal is to get me some recruits. Okay. So okay. I like that. So just five people. And I mean, we all start with one. So that is really yeah. good. And then yeah. doing what you're doing now, that's going to bring you those recruits too. And same thing, if they don't want to, you know, join and earn money, then they can just be helpers with you or um, they can just be regular customers and do kind of what like Peggy and Tammy is doing, you know, getting extra orders from people that they know. Yeah. So, um, okay. so, yeah. So, congratulations. So, thank you. Peggy, do you want to share what like a year end goal is for you? Well, I think this is going to be my fifth year making President's Club. I'm so excited. <laughs> and can you get off of work and go to the luncheon? <laughs> I <know> no. <laughs> oh. I sure can't. Um, it's just really hard for me to get off of work. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe this year um, I'll be able to come to you and we'll have our own kind of luncheon. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> no, I don't know how they do all the gifts. Um, well, if you, if you have your own luncheon, I want to come, so don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call. We'll have okay. a fun day. But it's got to uh, be in the evening or on the weekend. <laughs> okay. We'll definitely think of something to do. 
So uh, do you have any other goals or is that it? No, that's it. I tried, I tried uh, getting people to sell and that just doesn't work for me. <laughs> okay. I just didn't want the clock cut you off. So <laughs> I know we've talked about that a lot. Um, okay. So yeah. Becky or Tammy, what are your goals? So both of you have, okay. go ahead, Tammy. I, I think my biggest goal for this year is to sell more than I'm buying because right now I'm buying a lot of supplies and I'm buying a lot of samples and I'm buying a lot of my own personal stuff and my own stuff is costing more than what I'm actually selling. So I, I would like to, by the end of the year, get to where I'm selling more than I'm buying myself. Good. So one way, one way to do that, Tammy, is to say before you open up the book, and like if you know how much your Christmas budget is um, for your presents, one, you can look at that as you're getting a discount. So say you have $300 that you can spend, but you know, you would get that less. So think about it that way. And then also think about, okay, this is how much I want to spend on my business supplies. And then this is how much, I'm um, like, if you go to Walmart and you're buying shampoo and body lotion and fragrance and clothes, I mean, we really can have a whole list. And you know you're giving Walmart a hundred or two hundred dollars, but in return you're doing that for yourself. So think of it as not so much as you're spending it yourself, and like you're buying more, like you just said, um, in that sense. But you're saving money because you're not going to another store and you're getting it at a discount at your store. So that's one. Just giving yourself a budget and going, okay, I need to have a budget on what I'm spending. And then if you know how much you need to make then say, um, let's go with the $500 again. So you know you want to make um, $200. Well, you want to have $500 in sales that's not counting anything of yours, okay? So, um, and even going back to what Juanita had asked, do we have separate bank accounts? Well, you can even say, okay, I know my budget is to, um, I can only buy $25 in personal stuff, $20 in business supplies. Well, that's $45. So you pay that into that Avon bank account. At the end, you still make your $200 off of your everything else that you're doing. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Hopefully I didn't <laughs> y'all. I can get three numbers. Um, no, I, I, I was just saying I was sorry because I just jumped right in. <laughs> so saying yeah. yes, it makes sense. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Okay, and then Becky, what is your year-end goal? Our goals. <laughs> You're on mute. Becky is going to have a team of five by the end of December. Because oh, do you know her I don't have anybody that has a... I don't have any generations. Too. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. <laughs> Share can you hear Becky. me, Becky? I could hear you, but my phone was cutting out. I'm sorry. Um, um, I've set your goal for you, and you're okay. going to have a team with five people by the end of December. <laughs> I'm going to work with you and do what I can to help you. Okay. Well, I was going to say my goal is to have a, my own team by the end of the year. I don't... Uh -huh. Good. Hopefully it'll be five people, but you know, if I can have three, I'd be happy. We'll take you two. Know. <laughs> it's a start, so and you know, to get more customers also. Oh, good! So I love all these goals. So yay! So again, just I mean, starting with one person that is huge. So as just think about that, and then um, what I did with Juanita and Lisa, if you're open to it with wanting me to go out, then I'm open to going out with y'all after this week. <laughs> so um, I will see, I'll go live at the beach, okay? So, um, but after this week, I'll definitely go um, out with y'all. Um, even Lisa and Juanita will go out again. So I know Juanita drove um, out of her area and worked the business in a new area. So um, we'll go out. So definitely think about that just you know message me get on my calendar and we'll put something together so the goal is for us to go out at least three hours 
And do y'all remember how long we were out? I think it was two and a half hours. Yeah, I think it was. Two and a half. Yeah. And how many names did both of y'all get? Do y'all remember? I had about 10. Yeah, I did too. I got, yeah, I think I did get about 10. And so 20. And I have different places I know to go back to. Mm -hmm. And Becky and yeah. I already spoke about maybe uh, getting together this Saturday, this coming up Saturday. Mm -hmm. Because I'm in right. a lot now. I'll be there tomorrow, Becky, and I'll be there Saturday. So I know you'll be at work tomorrow. So yeah. We're about doing something Saturday, me and Becky. Um, do you think their Walmart will allow us to set up the way we do in Pell City? I, I think they will. Mm -hmm. I think well, they will, but I, I may need to ask somebody to be sure. Well, and I say set up at the end, not exactly in front of Walmart. Oh, yeah. um, kind of what we do in Pell City where it's not, you know, up on a business, but I always try to pick a busy section. So where right. all the cars are coming in or they can, you know, something like that. And then y'all probably have seen my car, how I park it and like, a little bit in the other spot so I'm not in the road and then <laughs> you have to tell some people that they cannot stop in this lane because they will literally yeah. stop, and <laughs> they do. stop to you. but um so you want to just pull in pull in so I always try to pull and park and set up where a couple spots are open on each side of me um that way they do have a place to pull in um so yeah so I would try it and I mean I would go do it and if they come out, like, um, what city was I in? Do you all set up in the back of the parking lot or something? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, okay, so in Pell City, it's a, a, a shopping center. So mm -hmm. Walmart, when you, when you pull in this parking lot, Walmart is on your right, and then it's got, like, a, it's an L shape. And so that main um, lane that we go in, that's the lane that I um, pull in to the right, so everyone that's coming in to the right, um, I mean, straight can just pull in a parking spot next to me. And so well, I'm more in front of like a little um, restaurant that's in this shopping center where Walmart is still over here. And I'm probably what, we're probably what, four lanes over. So we're not in front of Walmart. Right, Lisa? I think it's like four lanes over. Yeah. Um, but, you're, but you're on the sidewalk? No, we're, um, my, the back of my car is open. Um, so if you've seen some of those pictures, like the back of my SUV is open with products in the back, me holding a free Avon sign. Um, we that, did our table out there. Mm -hmm. We've the done it. For, before Thanksgiving, we did good with our Christmas items. It was like two weeks before Thanksgiving when we had our table set up there. And we never yes. had any issue in Pell City, but I don't know about mm -hmm. Talladega with Becky. And I would do it, like some places you know it's a little bit okay, like in Pell City, a lot of people are set up with selling dogs, giving away dogs, yes. that kind of thing. And then same thing, I try to think about, well, I don't want anybody stopping in the middle of the lane, um, you know, to cause a wreck or whatever. So I'm always, and I will, I'll just simply tell them, will you please pull over here because there's people coming. If it's slow and no one's coming, then I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I always over but I would say try worst case um that's what I'm trying to think of what's next to Fultondale um Sabrina would know we go set up there but we can't set up at that Walmart but we can we go set up at another place and we've only had one time an issue but we went the other day it's probably been a month ago now and she literally we went business to business just like um, Lisa and Juanita, um, we did. And she got like 25 customers that day. So we had wow. a ton of new names just from going. I mean, and if they didn't want to book, that was fine. We went straight into the very next door and we just literally did that for, and we didn't even get through, what Gardendale is the name, <laughs> but we didn't even get through, but just one little section. I mean, very little section of this town. Um, so I say go wherever you're going to um, work your business, find your radius. That's what my very first manager um, said to us, where you live and, and think about every place around you, all the cities, how far out are you willing to go? 
And so for me, I'm willing to travel 30 minutes outside. Well, 30 minutes outside of me is Pell City. It's Asheville. It's Atal. It's um, Clay. It's Center Point And um, what else? Um, Aniana. So it's literally a huge section. And that's one of the reasons why I would sell 22000 and 41000 a year. So just finding your radius and then being consistent with those customers and giving those books out, they will buy from you. And I'm going to do a follow-up video um, talking about some of that as well. Um, how even events, you know, sometimes those husbands will stop and get you one of your best customers too. <laughs> so um, she just placed a $76 online order and her husband stopped at my booth um, at a gas station. So I set up at a gas station and their little grass area where um, people could see me from the street and that was probably the most beneficial thing out of that whole day <laughs> but um, she's been my customer ever since and I believe that was probably nine years ago ten years ago I would have to go back and look um, but she's been my customer for a very long time so um, all these things that y'all are doing you're going to find those customers are going to stay with you so the crucial point of it now is to keep building those relationships, keep giving them new books every two weeks and keep following up every two weeks. And then even use, um, even Peggy, you can buy one of those lotions like Peggy um, did and share that with every single person you give a book to. That lotion will actually go a very long way that way. And then do what Lisa um, did. You qualify for this A box for $10 <laughs> and just let them tell you no. But just asking and consistently doing those very few tasks will make a huge difference in your business. Um, and then just letting them know that we do have three opportunities for them. So not only can they buy the products, but they can join and earn, or they can have a fundraiser and earn whether it's for them or for someone, you know, organization. So, so anyway, so do y'all have any last minute questions or need to know anything? With the free Avon, mm -hmm. are you giving away? Are you giving away actual Avon or samples? We are giving away samples. So what you seen that Lisa had made up, we would make up some of those if we could. Uh -huh. Or sometimes we've simply just had samples um, and we just took them out of the sample pack that day and gave it to them. Um, we've also, now we will give away free Avon. We will have a drawing. And depending on how busy it is for that day, if it's really busy, then we'll do a drawing that day. Or we put all the names together and have a drawing at the end of the week. So it's kind of based on like um, when Lisa and Tammy goes and works the event, they're going to have a drawing that day from everybody putting in their information because it's a lot yeah. of people. Even like Peggy can do the same thing because the goal of that is for you to have their contact information. So when you leave that event tailgating, whatever you're doing, you have their information later on to give them a new book and a follow up and to do all of that. So, yeah. So okay. no, now they will stop and think you're giving away free Avon, but no, <laughs> just say, yeah, we're doing a drawing today and here's some goodies for you. And that's what we do. We'll hand them the pack with some samples in there. And they, um, Wait a minute. I didn't hear it. You, it kind of phased out. Say that again. Um, well, when they stop, we'll say, um, yes, we're giving away free Avon here. Let's get your information, um, for the drawing. And then here, and we're handing them that book with the samples, um, inside. And so here's your goodies. And so that's what we're doing. So they go, oh, okay. You know, so a lot of people are good with that. They really want to have samples too. So <laughs> people love samples. Um, I had an idea, but I haven't actually done it. Okay. Um, for example, like at the beauty shop, I thought about um, maybe putting a box, uh, you know, win free Avon products and mm -hmm. let them put their contact information in and then have a drawing maybe once a month or something, you know, and so I could get more contact information. So what do you think about that? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> um, you doing that will open up so many doors. So you on naturallybeautifultips.com under the free resource tab, you can find the drawing slips that you can use. 
On there, it talks about fundraising, signing up to become a rep, and even buying. Um, like, do you have an Avon rep? Yes or no. You know, would you like to have um, Avon service? Yes or no. Those questions. So what that's going to do is help you get more contact information from that beauty shop that even though they're picking up your books, but you don't know who is picking up your book. You only have that one contact or two contacts from the beauty shop to get you orders. So what you can do from that, and you can tweak you want, when you download that file, if you want to edit, I think you can edit or just make your own. Um, but you can look at and even say, um, how would you, you could even have a question on there. Um, how would you like for me to follow up? You know, what's best way? Text, email, call, and let them circle or check by that as well. So I know Sabrina, Sabrina had that. So we'll have to ask her. Um, but there's, I know I've got some drawing slips, but I would do that because that's going to help you again. Right now is the best time to make sure you have the biggest customer base possible because it's going to help you sell more and do more. Um, so, yeah. Where did okay. you say those drawing slips were? Um, it's on uh, my page, naturallybeautifultips.com. Okay. And when you go on there, um, I have different tabs. It's under the free resources. And so there's different things on there that you can pull like um, frequent shopper cards. Um, I think makeup cards. There's all kinds of little customer cards that if y'all wanted to do something like that, um, y'all can. But um, there's all, you can just go scroll. <laughs> there's okay, a lot. thank you. You're welcome. So, okay, so um, thank y'all for joining. I hope y'all enjoyed this call. I know we did a little bit different. Um, so if y'all have any other questions, let me know. Um, just message me or um, post in the Dream Big Team group and definitely um, share some of your ideas with everyone too in the group and pictures and um, just keep sharing things that's working for y'all. So thank y'all for coming. You have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Thank and you. And have a birthday. Thanks. Y'all have, have a good a night. Yeah, Thank you can have a birthday and you can have a wonderful time at the beach without me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. It's okay. I'm so Which bad. beach are you at? I'm going to Orange Beach. Orange Beach. Okay. Well, that's awesome. <laughs>